So this looks more like me. Um, my name is Sopo Konjaje, Christian. I'm living in Germany, being Georgian, um, together with my husband and my two gorgeous Russian blue cats, uh, who, who you will see a lot on this channel. Uh, and I'll leave as well their handle because they're pretty famous on their own channel as well. Um, and why I decided to do this channel is simply because I really enjoy editing pictures and videos. I really love taking pictures of myself as well as others. That's how I started the cat channel. Um, I love watching such videos which show the lifestyle, the look type of things what people eat, where they go, uh, what they purchase, what opinions they And I thought like, I love doing all those and I'm already doing them. So, and I'm sharing small snippets um, already on uh, Instagram. So why not do a channel? And my husband surprised me with this camera. So no more excuses um, left. So I had to really push myself and get on with it. Of course, it's a really, uncommon for me to speak to a camera especially not looking up there on the viewfinder but um to the to the lens to watch all the time um but probably i'll get used to that over the course of the time um what i wanted to say else is that yes i wanted first of all to apologize for my english because i know that it is really far away from perfect i make a lot of grammatical mistakes but as long as the meaning is understandable, I hope that you wouldn't mind it. You will have to deal with lots of mm and ha mm's because, <laughs> um, yeah, when I'm trying to search for a word, that's what happens. And I want to say as well that it got a lot worse since ever I started to learn German more intensively um, working here. Um, that was just a precondition which I had to deal with. Um, yeah, and being Georgian as well, having third language in mind, in my thoughts. Um, the structure of the sentence it doesn't make it all so super easy so yeah what else um maybe for now let's skip that <laughs> mm. i wanted to properly start this vlog this morning but um that was impossible because uh, I woke up 10 minutes before I had to leave, so I couldn't even uh, say bye to the kitties. Uh, here we go, I'm standing in the main station right now, waiting for the train which goes to the airport. So we will see um, how we felt where it looks and what we are going to be doing now. We just got our boarding passes, which means that we are flying. Um, the storm speed has calmed down, and uh, we can say that I'm pretty happy about it because I'm so scared of the um, flights overall. And then with storm, it was definitely not something um, I was really happy about. Um, it, there is no wind anymore, and it's just small raindrops, which is pretty fine. Uh, let's see what the world has to offer. Hi there. <laughs> I just checked in the hotel and this is the tiniest room I've ever stayed in my life. But this is fine because we just come here to sleep um, and the most important thing is that it's clean and um, yeah, they have really good service. Um, it's one of the prominent hotels, just I booked the single room. First things first, I needed to pack out uh, before I would go out and the skincare is already out uh, with perfumes and there is some jewelry bits which I'm going to use these days. Um, here are some of my ear treatment things, 
and all the clothing is in the in the wardrobe. Now I changed quickly because it's so hot. I think I'm not gonna be wearing the uh, coat today. I'm just gonna go out with blazer. Can't wear it in February, but it's a lot warmer here than it is in Germany. So I think it's fine. And then we can explore the city. to quickly show how pretty it looks up here so we are just exploring in the city and found this area with the river and a beautiful sunset so it looks really really pretty I hope that the camera can take Hello, I just got ready for our date night uh, for the Valentine's Day and I just wanted to show you the gift which I got uh, from Fago and I am so very happy about it because I wanted to buy it for myself and uh, now I have it. It is a lot more substantial and heavy than I thought it would be. Uh, so yeah, it's an earring from Misoma. But I wanted to show you first how it is packed in case you are thinking to buy it looks very very luxurious and very um, well thought concept starting from the whole packaging so um, let me turn the camera so that you can see it mm, I also wanted to mention the necklaces which I'm wearing are from Misoma and uh, they have not tarnished at all even though they are not solid gold they are like gold plated both of them um, so here we go the box comes like that and then you have this beautiful packaging from inside as well um, I love the texture of it as well and it always comes with this like booklet just for any inspiration which you can look through and then it has its own small stamp and of course the receipt I think here they advertise their own new collection I of course opened it and then the packaging opens up like that here you have inside the pouch for travel which is very very good 
for me. I really love when jewelry come with their own pouch. And here we go. Here are the two beautiful earrings. Hi there, I have not really filmed ever since I came back from Belgrade properly. I mean, small snippets of Valentine's Day yesterday and the gifts that I got, which I'm so happy about. I'm wearing them here as well. It looks really, really good in my opinion. It's pretty heavy. You can see this on the earlobe that my, my hole is a bit down and just hangs a bit low to my liking but I like the earring so much that I was not ready to give up on it and send it back um, anyway I just wanted to give a short recap about uh, about Belgrade it is a very interesting city at some point uh, but it just reminds me of Georgia very a lot which is a good thing and a bad thing at the same time the infrastructure is terrible, like you could not really walk as a pedestrian without getting dirty or had to really be cautious that your feet doesn't uh, turn or you don't hurt your ankle or something like this. Um, and what annoyed me the most was um, that they smoke everywhere, literally everywhere and i saw some people who were like eating with one hand and in another they had cigarettes i've never seen anything like that and everything smelled like cigarettes every place well except my hotel room luckily otherwise i could not sleep but um yeah that was really tough even though the food was really delicious um they had really good um cuisine i would say um very good mix of spices in their um, dishes but very very meat driven as well which was a bit too much even though I love meat and I eat meat quite a lot um, even in Germany I try to balance it out with salads and stuff like this and um, yeah that was not the case but the girl from Malmo asked if there was anything vegetarian and I think they gave him her a piece of bread that was just really funny for me but probably not really funny for her anyway but now glad to be back home going shopping relaxing with kitties over the weekend I by the way have uh, applied to the Laura Mercier, which I'm holding it wrong, tinted moisturizer uh, and NARS concealer spotlight uh, and also the Benefit Bro Gel so far. I'm gonna try now to slightly contour my face. Did I already mention that we are going today to the Hermes store? I made an appointment with my sales associate. He's finally back from his holidays. Let's see if they have both of the items I want to look at. One of them, one of them is the Avalon blanket. 
and another one which I want to look at is uh, the age belt though I don't know it doesn't excite me somehow to think of buying a belt the idea of buying a belt let's see how I feel when I'm there and let's use the Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk for a more nude new to look today so this is how the look turned out just decided for the ponytail and the Hermes scarf uh, in the hair the green blouse which is a bit cropped and I like it because it shows the small waist area and then I'm wearing this a bit white but tailored wool Zara trousers I'm going to be wearing the Chanel bag and a white coat all over this. So this is the finished set makeup. After I applied the Guerlain Meteorites all over the face, just to give a bit of uh, sparkle as well as setting um, the tinted moisturizer which was the base it is very light makeup as you can see it doesn't have much um, contouring going on but I really like it and the nude lips are from Charlotte Tilbury uh, pillow talk back at home with my purchases as you can see we have been at Hermes today um, we have been there two weeks ago but my sales associate was not there so uh, we made an appointment with him per email now and we knew that today he was there Saturday is not really the best day to shop at Hermes because it's full and we knew that we wanted to consult with him about the bags as well um, because he told last time we were there uh, and we shopped there he told um, that the system for other shops rather than um, the Hermes store um, in Paris was changing its system for applying to the wish list of the of the bags. I know a lot of people out there will find this ridiculous how, how they treat the customers. It's another topic. I don't find it as well necessarily the best uh, um, service ever but I want those bags and when I want something I always do everything to get that, to get what I want. So um, of course I would say that those purchases are of course influenced by the fact that if you make purchases at MS you will most likely in increase your chances let's say like that it doesn't mean necessarily that you will get back because you purchased there but of course you establish relationship with your essay and the essay is the one who gets to on first hand decide who gets the bag because there are lots of other customers than you and we know that MS bags are not that readily available even if you have money and you would want to walk in and buy it uh, but I would I'm completely against buying things which I would not wear so um, I have been really thorough researching what they have and what would be would what would make sense for me or for home um, unless I find a really lot of nature uh, for, for the age group I am in uh, at right now and um, most of the things I find it beautifully done even the history and how they explain each detail in prints in the in the scarves everything is beautiful i find their scarves crazy beautiful i might get one or other sometime but most of the clothing pieces um are really a bit old-fashioned for my personal taste though they have very beautiful homeware and the leather good direction uh, like section is not direction leather good section is pattern. You know, they have so many choices, so many colors, and it's always a blast to be there and to experience and talk to a person who has been working for 10 years um, and know so much details about this brand. It's just really nice experience from beginning to the end. So basically, here is one houseware item and one is the leather, small leather piece, which I totally fell in love when being there. You both, you guys probably know uh, through my Instagram. I will link the Instagram um, handle on the screen or down below and that I've already mentioned that I wanted to get a belt and a blanket or I was choosing between those two which I were to get um, and I got both so here we have the box 
wrapped beautifully as always. But I think it's not really possible to get rid out of it without opening. And then we just open it like this. Let's do this quick. So it is the 13 inch, the very narrow um, belt with gold on one side with togo leather finish and black smooth leather on the other and along but what got sold to me on that is this buckle which is not very common and doesn't scream brand name I think if you did not know it, you would not even notice that it is a mess. I wanted the H belt. I tried it on, they had it, not in the color which I wanted, but it somehow was not making me jump. <laughs> um, like, out of happiness. So I was like, do I really need to buy that? So the Hermes um, H belt is classic, will always be there. and. I always wanted a bit thicker version, as told they did not have um, the variation I wanted in the color scheme I wanted, so I decided to wait up on that part, got this one instead, and you can now see which blanket we went for. It is simply gorgeous. It is beautiful, you guys. Don't even know if you can see it. I'll try to film it while on the bed. It is this light peach color. Probably doesn't take so well. Maybe I need to um, film this during the daytime. Um, it is a merino wool and cashmere mix. They have full cashmere version as well, which is the prices over the roof. Even this is already expensive. So um, I decided that uh, this would be better fit for us, especially that we have cats, because the cashmere one is so, so soft that cats need, knead, I think that's how it is called, knead on um, the soft blankets that we have and of course it would be such a pity to destroy this beautiful piece um, right away. I'm so excited, it will look so pretty in our, on, in our living room, on our couch, because um, our couch is dark brown and um, this with the peach brown nude colors, oh, that will be simply gorgeous. I'm too excited. It was such a beautiful day. We had so much fun. Um, the, the sales associate was really simply brilliant, like took all the time, talked to us. Oh, I forgot. I made my wish list for the Kelly 25. We chose the leathers, the finishes, the colors, the size. And uh, right now they um, do no more handwritten taking wish lists, but uh, rather enter it in the system, which means that it is directly communicated to the to the um, you know, flagship store and we, we don't know how long it will take still but keep fingers crossed, crossed for me that it comes um, maybe this year I'm turning 30 this year so it would be really great if it worked out anyway have a lovely evening